okay tell me something they say if i come to a calisthenics gym or i do this i, I do a non जिम में जाके स्ट्रेनर से बात करके स्ट्रेंथनिंग रूटीन जहाँ मैं एक दिन वो स्मिथ मशीन यूज़ कर रहा हूँ एक दिन मैं बेंच यूज़ कर रहा हूँ वर आई एम जस्ट पुशिंग और पुलिंग टू गेन साइज राइट इफ आई डोंट फॉलो दैट मॉडल एंड आई फॉलो दिस ईसो टेरिक मॉडल द द थिंग दैट स्टिल हैपन्स आई नो इट्स ईसो टेरिक नाउ वन डे मेन स्ट्रीम हो जाएगा होपफुली द द इशू दैट स्टिल अराइज इज कि मैं फिर भी If I'm doing the calisthenics, I'm still wondering, yar, what is the role of recovery and physios and recuperation and all of this? Because I'm exercising, how do I fix my pain? I can strengthen my muscle. Right. The pain still remains, right? Right. So the, the, does this art form, this art form, this style of training, does it still exist? 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 Does it still when i train people i it's hybrid calisthenics so i sab purist nahi mm. in fact i think that the purist is a foolish man okay i learned as much as i have in a short span of time because i have taken little bit from here little bit from there little bit from everything and been like this works this works where there's smoke there's fire right mm-hmm. so if there's someone following this, let me see what it is about this thing let me see what it is in which i've kind of taken what as I, as i will continue to learn and adapt through time mm. um but i think there's something beautiful about being able to b- move your body through space and just being able to gain a certain amount of mastery of this yeah. in itself but um there's no hard and fast thing that you cannot do it in a gym yeah you can go to a gym but do it with the correct intent and approach with a good trainer which i believe that anyone beginning training should not just go to a gym and just they need to understand it from the ground up so that right. they're doing it and there are professionals for a reason and you have to spend that time to study it and understand what is uh. going on and why you're doing it so as to not do it wrong yeah i also think ki aap jab kabhi bhi kisi bhi fitness or anything that you train in it is all, it's very important to absolutely trust the expert but to completely lose your agency or your own body ki ye karayega no 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 I, that's completely that's no there are many people like this no ki ye are tu kara de yaar tu dekh le main i approach it as a like as a teacher that's my approach like i want if anyone i'm training or anyone i'm training uh with i like to believe that within 3 months to 6 months you should at least know enough from me to be able to do this on your own Hmm. I am trying to, you know what I mean. I'm. Let's understand this together, your body together, mm-hmm. and so that you have the tools to know how Vinamran needs to move, right? Without me in the room, ideally, hmm. right? So, but there are surprisingly, in fact, I was blown by. Sometimes I'm trying to explain this to people. Ki like, boy, you should not need me to be there or like. if you're working out in a hotel gym if you're traveling mm-hmm. or whatever i'm trying to give you the tools why do you not want them but um, there are some people that are like nahi bhai mujhe bas batao you just mm-hmm. tell me what to do and i'll do it and i'm here for my one hour and i'm going to go mm-hmm. um and i, I think they they don't realize how much that is not serving them because that it, there's either an injury pending or you're not going to you'll be hitting the wrong muscle when you're doing it or i think it's important for just as much as anything that we think is important to learn to learn your your own body at least it's the baseline stuff about it to yeah. be able to move it correctly to understand oh these are my in- injuries these are my predispositions i need yeah. to watch for this in my body i think that that is very important as that's why i like to consider myself a coach or a teacher more than a trainer hmm. um because i don't want to just count your reps <laughs> yeah i want to teach you how to not need me Correct. Ideally, if I'm doing what I'm doing well, yeah. within three months to six months, I should be able to teach you how to not need me. Yeah. Sure. Then, if you want to hone your skill set, if you want to learn that further, and if you're having a blast, let's hang out. But yeah. I'm not doing my job well if you don't know how to do this without me. Correct. Yeah, I remember when I when I was completely massively unfit in the lockdown. मैंने अपनी बॉडी की एजेंसी छोड़ दी थी बॉडी एकदम स्लगिशली होती थी एंड आई रिज्यूम की वर्कआउट से कुछ ठीक हो जाएगा बट इट वुड जस्ट ऑफ सेट मी फॉर अ फ्यू आवर्स बिफोर द मिजरी बिगैन ऑल ओवर अगैन इट्स ओनली वन आई ग्रेजुअली सारे टू गो ऑन द इंटरनेट एंड देन इवेंचुअली वन आई मूव ह्यूर आई फाउंड यू आई रियलाइज की मेरी बॉडी बहुत चीज़ों के लिए केपेबल है आई वी डिस सर्विस वो आर एस टोटल कोर्ट यू नो 
be a disservice for me to not see my body in its exactly. peak prime, right? Uh, before I age. Because imagine you're you're living in this thing all your exactly. life, and you I mean you know you you spend so much time decorating your Instagram or your house and whatnot. Exactly. When it comes to your body, you're like, "कुछ भी जा रहा है, कुछ भी आ रहा है, कोई दिक्कत नहीं है, चलता है क्या? ज़िंदगी बड़ी stressful है." So instead of dealing with life as it is, you just use your body as a coping mechanism for all the shit. This is the thing that processes your stress. Exactly. This is the thing that processes your inflammation. This is the thing that processes all the emotional blows that people give you. It's a thing that's always taking, taking, taking all the shit that's thrown at exactly. you. Exactly. And you don't serve it enough. That's exactly where I was coming from on this entire journey of mine, which is why I dedicated like all my time to it because mm. I spent so much of time abusing it, mm. like massively, as I've told you. I had a mm. problem with substance. and all of that right alcohol the works let's not even get into it hmm. um but when i saw my body giving me back it almost felt like ki it was waiting for me hmm. to just you know what i mean show yeah. that little bit of love and it started showing me this much more back yeah. and i tell a lot of people who come to train with me i'm like bhai there's only one thing which is going to be around for as many minutes as you bro that's this <laughs> you know what i mean yeah understand it learn it give it what it needs um and in doing so i don't like i've just realized that that's what i that's what i'm trying to share right i didn't yeah. think in my wildest dreams bhai that my body would be capable of any of this stuff yeah. like i'm doing like you know what i yeah yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll post some videos of what is actually possible when you can go to your level where you can do plan wo kya kehte hain wo superman's planks the whole the whole yeah, exactly yeah. that's and this is coming from when i started at 35 just for context a push up was mar mar ke hmm. you know what i mean with like bad form pull up i couldn't do one full range pull up hmm. at 35 i started then and i'm here by 39 and i could do a lot of this already just okay sure i don't expect other people to put in the amount of time and be as you know what i mean psycho about it as me perhaps but just what the body is capable of if you just mindful about it in a short span of time yeah it's insane and that's the feeling that essentially i just wanted to share with more people and i'm continuing to figure out how to grow it and to share it with more people yeah. ki bhai you have no idea even when people come to me um you know when clients they say clients huh. yeah like i feel like strange using that term huh. but if people come to train and they give you their goals i'm sure like i i'm, I'm like i think a trainer will take those board go, goals on board a good trainer maybe yeah. help them meet it Yeah. But a really good coach will help you understand that your goals are just cute compared to what you're capable of. Uh, because because way more people severely underestimate themselves and they have some very baseline aesthetic goal which is still not even as good because you aesthetically also with the correct diet and everything you can be whatever you want to be. Hmm. You can look as ripped as you want to look like sure there's a genetic predisposition. But what one thinks their body is capable of like if i show someone a video and be like bhai do you think your body is capable of this most people will say no yeah you know and that and being able to share that feeling is why i do this to just be ki like bro dekh le 